This is the last webinar in the series, so we thought it would be a wonderful time to um, bring on the director of the department, Nancy Bargeman, uh, the director of Department of Developmental Services, to share with us some thoughts on the purpose and intent of the Disability Thrive Initiative. We are incredibly grateful and honored to have been partners uh, with DDS in, in delivering this over the past couple of years. So, uh, Director Bargeman, thanks for being with us today and um, sharing your perspective on, on Disability Thrive Initiative. So I, I do want to just kind of share a little bit of the background as to what led into the Disability Thrive. And, and while we were facing the pandemic in 2020, you know, we knew that we really needed to provide flexibility and um, really take a look at how we're going to be able to provide kind of alternative services for individuals and providers so we could have services for um, you know, really across the state and also support our providers. Um, and, but we knew we couldn't do it alone. Um, when we were looking at ways to be able to kind of make policy decisions, which led to alternative services, that is, that's only one piece of kind of the, the tools and the toolbox that we needed to be able to navigate through kind of a whole new environment as a result of the pandemic. And so what did we do? We, we went to our kind of community partners, many of the providers and associations, and you know, really started brainstorming about what is it that we needed to do? And that's how we started looking at the alternative services. But then how do we kind of promote and lift up the flexibility and innovation? Um, and that's where the concept of Disability Thrive um, kind of came up. I, you know, certainly, um, the leaders of Disability Thrive are the ones that had identified and branded the name and, and really looked at what was going to be meaningful to the community. And that's where a technical assistance and training service was, was evolved from. Um, we, we also saw that there was quite a few providers that really kind of adapted to that flexibility and innovation and quickly made that pivot. Um, but we also knew that for a variety of reasons, that there were some that really struggled in, in trying to see how they were going to be able to pivot and using the expertise of those that have been able to kind of make that innovation and um, lean into it and use that as part of kind of their new environment of delivering services. And so making those connections was extremely invaluable. Um, and that's what Disability Thrive did you know, providing that training and like I said, some of the technical assistance and making those connections. And how did they do it? You know, they really had the vision of being able to look at statewide webinars using the benefit of, you know, how we can use Zoom and, and um, have a statewide resource. Um, that was certainly one of the great takeaways of so many things that were devastating about the pandemic. But one of the good things is that we've been able to connect statewide and do things that we haven't been able to do. They highlighted, you know, individuals who are receiving services that were sharing their experiences, really able to showcase some of the exciting things that providers and families and um, self advocates, direct service professionals were doing to provide that inspiration, but then also using an opportunity to see if there is advice that they could help kind of guide folks. Um, they really provide kind of this practical way to deliver um, some takeaways and share that information again through webinars and then also other other ways that they were able to make those connections through, you know, lunch and learns. They had activities. They were able to develop a resource library, you know, really having a team to see how they were going to do a broad outreach. Um, they created that space for that community collaboration, that encouragement and being able to learn together. Change is never easy, but it's always easier when you have somebody to do it with, you know, that you're not in it by yourself, that you could really look and learn from others or share your expertise with somebody else. Over the course of the couple of years, we had asked them to come back for a 2022 series um, because we recognized that there still was change that was underway. And um, to our great delight, um, the team said, yes, we can do it. Um, and they said they will help us stay informed um, with the community and stay, they would stay engaged and have the seminars throughout this year. We're now at the end of the year. 
Um, I'm so pleased with the work that they did. We were right in asking them to do, kind of extend their time in this this work. Um, and I think you are seeing really kind of the results of that um, as you are experiencing it today. So I do really want to thank, you know, Barry Giardini, Amber, Carrie, Navarrete, and uh, there's a whole team behind the Disability Thrives leadership. You know, the, what you've done has just been remarkable and um, really does demonstrate the leadership and partnership that really can make a difference. And really thank you for helping developmental services through the journey, supporting direct service professionals, um, self-advocates, and so many others. So thank you, um, Barry and Amber and others. And uh, again, appreciate the moment to be able to share some thoughts and um, we'll hand it back to you.